the youth club because it's a place where you can just let everything go and, and enjoy yourself. And the best part of it for me is coming to see loads of people who have autism, Asperger's or any similar disabilities that might disadvantage them in some way, or in some ways give them a good advantage. It just means I can socialise with people like me and like make friends here that know about it. Oh, um, I like it how uh, it's like really laid back and all this stuff like understand the problems that we have and it's easier to talk to people with um, autism because they understand your problems and so do like the volunteers. Autism is a complex lifelong condition that affects how a person makes sense of the world around them and how they communicate with and relate to other people. This short film was made to promote understanding by sharing the thoughts and experiences of people with autism, professionals and families. Um, wherever you are on the, on the autistic spectrum you will have significant and complex difficulties with um, communication, so that's both verbal and non-verbal forms of communication. With um, social interaction and getting on with others and all sorts of social environments which are very, very difficult to manage and negotiate uh, for them. And also um, rigidity of thinking, rigidity of thought, which means they're unable to move very quickly from one thing to the next. So any form of change or transition for them, which could be moving from one chair to the next chair, is, is difficult because it's changing what they're doing and they're unsure of what will happen to them once that change has taken place. On top of that, there's lots of sensory differences that people have, which again could be anything really, and they um, affect each individual differently, and each individual differently on a different day, depending on what's going on in their lives. Autism affects people of all ages. It is a hidden disability. No one looks autistic. It's not scary having autism. It's, you know, you're part of a huge crowd of people who have autism. Um, but you just treat it like a normal person. Over 700,000 people in the UK have autism and including families, it touches the lives of over 2.7 million people in the UK every day. Sometimes I try to forget that I have autism, even though it's always going to be there. No one knows exactly what causes autism, and there is no cure. It doesn't get better, it just gets different. It evolves, it changes. As one problem subsides, another appears. Um, people who have um, classical or profound autism um, really sort of struggle with interacting with, with the world, with the people around them, um, in the way that we take for granted. So they, they often have ver uh, di communication difficulties where they, they can't communicate verbally, they can't express themselves um, and they get very very frustrated um, and it's really and, and very stressed and anxious about what they're doing, where they're doing, what people want from them and how to express what they need from other people. Um, they often have difficulties in in every aspect of daily life, sort of like getting dressed, eating, washing, uh, and need 24 hours uh, support and care from whoever can give it to them. Really, um, a lot of that responsibility falls onto families, and it's um, it is relentless, and it's a 24-hour commitment. Many people with autism have some kind of sensory sensitivity. This can affect any of their senses. But one common problem is that ordinary background noises can seem very loud, causing stress, anxiety and even physical pain. Different way of uh, thinking, uh, the cognitive thinking that people have, the way in which they uh, put thoughts and ideas in constructive ways within the mind. Uh, autism to me is a very uh, different approach to the way in which people sort of put their ideas together which may not necessarily fit in with the uh, norms in society. 
We're all on the spectrum somewhere. Autism, I think, only becomes an issue when we don't fit in with the crowd. Well, it's kind of like hard to explain because I've had it all my life, but it's like different in the com communication and I struggle to understand things and it's like hard to explain. What things do you struggle to understand? Um, I struggle to understand, un understand the instructions and like if I get a load at once it just gets too much. And it's when you're learning it slows you down and it's very hard because um, people don't understand and they take the mick out of you. It can be very hard on the person with autism. Basically it means my brain is slightly differently wired to how you would conceive yours. Um, I um, So from an early age, I mean it's a, like it's a slow, it's a very slow to cur turning, learning curve, sorry. Um, like from a young age you'll start off not being able to cope with like minor details such as too much noise and don't get me started on the compulsive behaviour. Um, but we have routines and order and systems and also we've got um, what's it called? Um, we sort of can't comprehend normal situations. Um, like um, it's a social um, social um, complex complexity um, in, in life, basically, so that's why I hold a phone. It's complex. Autism can make social situations very difficult and stressful. People with autism may find it hard to understand facial expressions, tone of voice and everyday conversation. Um, often autism is extremely isolating and it's isolating for everybody involved because going outside the door for somebody who has autism is very scary so you might not even get out of the door very often and um, so it's really important that the support networks out there and people providing that support understand those issues that the family and the person is going through. People with autism may find it hard to understand and empathise with other people's emotions and feelings and express their own. It's like, basically, it's just a normal, I don't find any different. Obviously I struggle to make friends and I think that's just autism, mm -hmm. but it's just a normal life. Autism has a way of challenging you, but if you really embrace it, you can see the positives, what your children can achieve. I'm not like anyone else, so I'm... Not abnormal, but not normal at the same time, so it's kind of in the middle. Everyone with autism is an individual. Their needs are different to those of other people with autism. With appropriate support and understanding, people with autism can live fulfilling, productive and enjoyable lives. It's important that people who work in public services have some understanding of what it's like to live with autism. Well, I think we need to have a, a really good awareness of things like um, eye contact and communication, the need to make sure that we use really clear and plain language. I, I think it's difficult because I, I, I know that autism affects many different people in many different ways, but I understand that um, it's, very, it's very important to make sure that you use language that can't be misinterpreted, um, not to use sarcasm or irony or any of those kind of things um, and just to have an understanding so that we know how best to interact. Mm -hmm. I think you need to approach people with autism in a different manner. Uh, I think uh, you need to find out more about them uh, in the manner of how they communicate. So sometimes people have carers or people who look after them or a buddy or whatever it may be and sometimes it's really useful to, to interact with those people to find out exactly how, much, how this person interacts, how this people this person communicates and any issues that they might have surrounding that. Uh, one gentleman that I worked with, um, I spent three weeks just visiting them twice a week so they get used to me, uh, my voice, me being in their environment, talking to them through a closed door because um, they had a particular issue about meeting new people. The continuity of care is going to be there for that patient. You want to make sure that 
myself, I may, you know, I may treat that. I don't want that patient being treated any differently um, from a nurse to nurse perspective. Give people the time because um, things do take time with people with autism. And secondly, um, do not discriminate against us. Break information down into smaller, manageable pieces. Check they've understood. Don't get hung up about eye contact. Some people will communicate better without looking at you. And helping to prepare that individual for the unexpected. Uh, something's going to change throughout that day. It's out of their control. We can't plan for it. It's going to happen at some point. So ha ha supporting an individual to have mechanisms to actually have those coping, mechanism, uh, coping strategies for when that actually comes uh, across and happens to them. The only thing that worries me is the feeling of being treated differently, like not people talking to me differently, acting with me differently, as if they need to use hand gestures or facial expressions, etc. Just because there is a dissonance between how somebody might be uh, interacting with you, you can't read into that anything other than uh, a, a communication difficulty. And I think perhaps not making assumptions, not um, making value judgments one way or the other, not rushing to conclusions about what would be best for without bringing that person with you. People who have um, profound autism need um, support on a daily basis um, for most of the day, to be fair. Um, then they probably they will also need somebody around when they're asleep because when they wake up they're going to need the support. So whoever's giving that support, and if it's family, um, they're going to they have to be there 24/7. So. Um, and, and the support is so that they, they ensure that the person they're looking after gets up, eats, um, drinks, gets dressed, uh, does some exercise, has a meaningful day. Um. I wish people wouldn't take it personally. It's not personal. If someone with autism seems rude or blunt, avoids eye contact or doesn't want to do things, they're not doing it to be rude or to offend anyone. Some days they just don't want to talk to you. Sometimes people just can't go with it. They push and just make things worse without realising. People with autism want the same things the rest of us want from life. To have meaningful opportunities, to be safe and to live a life that has lived. All the people that I've met and worked with and supported and networked over the years, they are such inspirational people. The children, adults, the, the daily stresses and the daily hurdles they have to cross are phenomenal and I'm extremely humbled uh, by their ability to be able to get through each day and then get up and face the next day to be fair. I see my future as quite an um, interesting one really because obviously I'll still have this for the rest of my life so it's um, probably going to be interesting through the years as to how um, things are going to change and how I'm going to cope with them and whether that will bring out the worst of me or the best of me.